Lives of Our Saints. On the 7th of July, our church celebrates the feast of Saint Kiriaki. The following are some thoughts on her life and works. Kiriaki was the daughter of the devout Christian couple Dorotheus and Evsevia. Her parents had been childless for many years, and it was in answer to their fervent prayers that a daughter was born to them. Out of gratitude to the Lord, the child was named Kiriaki, which literally means the day of the Lord, the day of the week on which the Lord rested from his labor when he created the world. When Kiriaki was about to enter into the service of Christ as a nun, her parents, who were wanted desperately by the pagan authorities for their Christian activism, were seized upon orders of the pagan ruler, Duke Justice, and sent to a prison in Armenia. The heartbroken Kiriaki, knowing that she was never to see her gentle parents again, insisted on carrying on their work, despite the ever-increasing danger of her own capture. When she was finally taken into custody, she faced her captors with a calm courage and and an assurance that puzzled the pagans. Imprisoned, she drew the attention of Maximilian, ruler of that area, who thought that he could bend her will because of her youth and sex. He never made a greater mistake in judgment, nor was he so wrong in the estimation of his power over the strength of Kiriakis. Maximilian, thwarted at every turn of his logic and exasperated by her oratorical power, ordered Kiriaki to be whipped in public. Bearing the punishment with great fortitude, she was then turned over to Ilarios, the governor of Vithania. It was at this point that the spark of divinity within Kiriaki asserted itself. Ordered to stand in a pagan temple to pray to their gods, she looked skyward, spread her arms out, and called upon God to demonstrate his power. The reply terrified her enemies. A violent earthquake levelled the pagan temple, from which Kiriaki walked unscathed, and a bolt of lightning struck and killed Ilarios immediately. God's wrath had been demonstrated, and when the pagans had overcome their shock, they decided that the only way to destroy this girl was to behead her. This time Kiriaki merely prayed to God that her soul be taken before the executioner's axe would fall. This was the way Kiriaki died on the 7th of July at the age of 21.